What's good, YouTube fam? Welcome back to another video. As always, it's your boy Bobby back like back like for real. Good English. Uh -huh. It's your boy Bobby back again with another vlog, man. Hold on, let me make sure these settings are right. It's like 8 p.m. at night. We're at Z's shop. If you're one of the OGs or uh, if you watch any of my old videos, you would know where we're at. So what we're up to today is Yali's bringing his uh, K24 series swap BRZ, as you guys know from the previous videos. We're supposed to meet up here at 8 o'clock. Uh, it's 8.10 right now. Of course, I'm the only one sitting here like an idiot. So in the meantime, I'm gonna be playing some uh, the new Call of Duty mobile. I'm gonna put in the description my gamer tag if you guys wanna add me. That's enough rambling on. Let's play some COD while we wait. <laughs> All right, so these guys finally showed up, man. We got Z in the mix. Finally showed up. Yo, say what's up, Z. What it do? What's up? What's good? What's up? What's up? You gonna watch my channel? Uh, oh, where is it? Where's the link? Where is it? You got a video out? Nah. I see you but slacking, I got bro. tons of content. Huh? I got tons of content. Yeah? I'm talking right, about waiting, ass bro. loads of content. They're waiting for the ass loads. <laughs> <laughs> got all of my computer, at, least, at least somebody's getting some cheeks out here. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm dead. <laughs> Alright, man. So today we got freaking Yali's car in the shop. It's broken. Uh, he's got to show us how to weld. Oh, yes. He's yes. going to be teaching us so, how to weld. According to what so has been filed. I don't know how to weld, so I just. So, uh, no, I know how to weld. What are you talking about? I'm an excellent welder. <laughs> okay. okay. YouTube right but, uh, anyways. So, uh, what it happened, yeah, yeah, so, what happened, dude? So what oh, had man, happened was like, <laughs> <man>. hard, dude. <laughs> the mount for the exhaust, it broke off the exhaust and there's like a, a circle size, what a, like a quarter size hole in it. Hopefully we can fix it. So, so right now I took a couple of stainless steel zip ties and I zip tied it all back together. But right now. But you know that's, that's the thing a lot of people do though. Yeah. Stainless, zip ties? stainless? Yeah, they yeah. work. I mean, that's a, a everybody's got to have them. It's a race car problem. It's solved with stainless, stainless steel, steel zip ties, man. So pretty much that's all we're going to be doing today. Um, I guess we'll get some more shots of the car and we'll finally get to see what it looks like from underneath uh, and see the custom exhaust that they did for the uh, K24 engine. As you guys know, this is uh, K24 swapped. So it's a little more technical than your regular BRZ. All right, so what are we looking at, man? Whoa, this looks different. Yeah, bro. All it's right, so what you're looking at right here is a full custom exhaust from the headers are custom too. So everything's custom. Everything is custom. So right here, this is actually a solid mount. And there's another solid mounted post right there. So uh, the problem with this one is actually that the mount was uh, when the exhaust was trying to swing forward and back, because the back is on the rubber bushings, it's like uh, the mount too was also trying to swivel and it, it kind of just snapped. snapped right here. Uh, so you got a hole there? Oh yeah, Where's you can see. Like, yeah, it's right here. The whole flexing. thing's broken off. I mean, the whole mount, it's not even connected right here. It's just black. Well, what we can do is pack it here. And then uh, I'll pull the whole thing off and we can just weld it outside. Yeah, work, works perfectly well. I mean, it should line <laughs> up. It should line up, right? Even if we pulled the whole thing off. Facts. Uh, but, uh... It's looking kind of dusty right you now. No, it's bro. looking kind of dusty, crusty right now, bro. <laughs> <laughs> this is a full oh, custom drive shaft. I think it's from Drive Shaft Stop. I forget. This is a R34 rear diff. It's also on solid mounts. Sheesh, this thing is a death machine. Bro, thousand horsepower axles, bro. That's crazy. Thousand horsepower axles. Whoa, sick, bro. Does it make noise though? Oh, hella noise. <laughs> oh, shit, tons of ass noises coming out of that. <laughs> like right under my ass. <laughs> and it yeah. smells, and it's like coming up through the transmission shaft, and I'm like, Jesus. <laughs> That's a lot of fucking smoke. 
Oh my god, that's crazy, dude. Well, you know, you gotta keep it a hundred. It is, man. You gotta keep it real. Wow, keep look at real. these custom lines. <laughs> Whole. Whole, bro. Fuel lines. Whoa, brother. Yes. <laughs> my ears every day. Blaring. Let's see that, man. You got a flash in Look at this amazing one. That's nice. courage right there. Because you know why it's courage? Because it's a mystery on our hands. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent job, Z. Fantastic. Yeah, Z. Holding it down. <laughs> Explanations, let us know, man. Come on, yeah, talk, one, talk to them before they One, I can't find shit to clean it. I cleaned some of it and then I ran out of the cleaning. The I don't care, it works. Uh, nice. Well, I got the, the most of the well under was fine. So, because nice. I got I got all the hole filled in and everything, but I think it got pretty good penetration. The heat was there and everything. Yes, that was what I was worried about. But penetration. It's more than likely gonna fucking break. What about underneath that? Yeah, man, you're gonna need. You think some. it's gonna break again? Yep. Because where it is sitting, there needs to be a rubber bushing. Yeah, dude, I went to Home Depot and I tried to find some rubber bushings. Yeah, we'll go on for universal bushing uh, kits. I'm sure you can, you can find you can buy it on eBay or something like that. Alright, yo, Z finished the amazing weld job on the uh, exhaust. He's I don't like, it, I don't appreciate He's putting it back on the car. <laughs> he's putting it back. Yo, Z did his best. He. Close the hole off, that's all that matters. That's all that really matters. Oh, what's going on here, bro? Brother, what are you, yo, what are your equipment, Z? They're gonna roast you, bro. Oh! Ah! You see, nigga? Ah, shit, hit me in get the fucking helmet. Wait, wait, is it? Oh, it's tech, it's tech. Okay, no, it's fine. Tech these nuts. <laughs> this is insane, dude. Well, now it's going to be good to go to the dyno. So when are you going to get a dyno? Actually, it's not. i got to tighten up the, uh, the oil tighten line. Up the oil line. Yeah. Wow. I put a little bit into the boost and started the way leaning on which I'm like, interesting. Why, yeah, rattling and everything. Real quick, uh, Z's gonna be restoring his the headlights on his STI, so I, I guess we'll just show you guys real quick how to do that. Right now, he's just cleaning it with some brake cleaner. Uh, don't use brake cleaner. Brake cleaner is not good for plastic. But I mean, these are WRX headlights that I custom modified and shit. So, fuck it. <laughs> so whatever. Uh, honestly, at this point in my life, <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> you don't have to use this exact thing. You just need to get a cutting compound. It's what we use like on paint to do like. Uh, finishing, uh, not finishing, but like doing like heavy cuts to get rid of imperfections, swirls, and a lot of other stuff. 
Uh, what I use for like headlights and stuff is just, like a really aggressive one, which is Ultra Cut. It's pretty aggressive. Uh, even on paint, it's pretty aggressive. Usually, it's not the first thing you go to to do, but they're headlights, and it doesn't really matter because you're just trying to get them clear. General steps is correct. The way I'm doing shit, we're contaminated pads, contaminated glove. Don't do this, please. <laughs> but let's just get the job done. That's it. You're just trying to get it done. Quick job. This is actually a 3M kit. So you can buy this on uh, Amazon. So a lot of people think, oh, I gotta replace my headlights and everything like that. $25, $30, buy the kit, comes with sandpaper, comes with everything. They tell you how to do it. There's a million people did it on the internet. It gets rid of the thing. Issue is it's gonna get yellow again eventually. So the only way to really prevent that is to clear coat it with like a high UV protecting clear coat. So go visit our local uh, guy, Steven. <laughs> Why? Wow, that was mad fast, dude. Yeah, oh, that's all shit. it takes. Plus, I did this a while back and I sanded the crap out of them. That's what it used to look like. Ass. Ass catch. <laughs> all right, guys, that's going to be it for the video. You shout out to Yali and. That's, that's Z. Z and that's Yali. Yali. <laughs> yeah. It's been a pleasure, man. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, remember to leave a like, share, and comment. And as always, we'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Blue strips count cash. Blue strips count green. Don't trip up late. Up state up late. Up state up late. Yeah, up state. Make moves. Yeah.